My journey begins with a 325 mile long drive, crossing state lines from Arizona into New Mexico. And I had just found out a few days ago that a recruiter for the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communication was already a couple days into making the rounds at reservation high schools. The Navajo Reservation. So right now we are in, uh, in Gallup, New Mexico. It took us about five and a half hours to get here. We left at 2.30 this morning. And the first stop that we're making is um, at Mia Mira High School. There we're going to be uh, meeting Anita Luera. She is the Cronkite School uh, recruiter. Um, I think it's the best uh, journalism school in the country, obviously. I did graduate from there. I did have a um, television news journalism career for 27 years. And uh, what I like to do is come in and show us some of the cool stuff we're doing. When this position came open, um, it brought a, a lot of the things that I'm passionate about together. And that was journalism um, and education. And so being able to go out to speak to high school kids about this was just really fantastic. It was almost like a natural fit. It's like you and your parents at home. You turn on the TV, you lean back and watch. Your generation is the lean forward generation. Anita tells the students in Mr. Jones's journalism class there is an extreme need for more Native American journalists. It's even more uh, important with the Native American populations. When you think that 5% of uh, our Native American population in Arizona is Native American descent, and um, we barely have 1% of our student population at the Cronkite School of Native American Descent. We need more. Jeffrey Jones used to work at the Gallup Independent, one of the largest newspapers on the Navajo Reservation. He was there for 12 years as chief photographer. He also worked as a photo editor at the Minnesota Daily. Um, the workplace is very much a, a white person's atmosphere. Um, Gallup Independent, for instance, um, I believe one poll called them the least diverse newsroom in the country um, because it was it's all white people running the newsroom um, and that's very common. He says Miyamira High School is over 90 percent Native American and many of the students don't consider a career in journalism because they don't even have basic writing skills down. After Renita's presentation, I pulled aside a few Native students to get their take on Native news coverage. I think the Native American people are missing. They don't really talk about Native Americans on the news, you know, like only if like it's about drunk people or... It's uh, not in a positive attitude. Yes, it's, it's not more a of a negative. Uh, by negative, like they don't say anything good. Like they could say something about football teams or other things, but they just sing, say stuff like, oh, this person did a drunk driving accident and they were Native American. They enter that as Native American. Last Christmas on New Year's, they said that there's a drunk driver who's Native American who killed a white family. And they have to mention that they're white and it's not really a positive attitude. I even asked them if they'd ever consider a career in broadcasting. Yes, I would like to. I would like to, like, interview people about sports, you know, like athletes and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and what about you? Your name is Amberlynn, you said? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because you access some things that you didn't know was there, mm -hmm. and you learn more. Nicole, tell me, do you ever think that you want to get into uh, broadcasting? Uh, not at the moment, but if I want to and I learn more about it, then I will want to. Even though they thought about it, they said they didn't I feel like they could break really into the biz because they don't have anyone to look up to. I think that's not something they've ever been exposed to. There's, there's no role, role models in Native American uh, in news, um, so they don't even consider it as an option. Okay, A few of them think about uh, maybe acting, um, some of them think about sports, but a lot of them don't have anybody saying, yes, so this can be done. So you guys, when you guys watch the news here in uh, New Mexico, are there any native reporters that you guys can identify with? No. 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 no, no, no. Do you think if there were one or a couple that maybe you'd be more interested in going into this field? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. You don't just want to watch one person, one minority group on the news. You want to see different kinds, so you, it's more interest. I think role models is one of those things because when we see somebody else do it, then we know we can, we, maybe we could do that. I know role models were not as um, prominent when I was coming up through the ranks, and that really did make a difference. Our next stop was at Gallup High School, a few miles down the road. 
you know, we're going to Gallup High School right now to talk to more Native American high school students who are possibly looking into going into journalism as a career. I made a lot of contact to a lot of high schools and looking for high schools with heavy Na Native American uh, student population. I'm going through nine high schools in five days and it's quite a challenge. The last class that Anita presented in was full of students, but this one, not so much. Out of 264 freshmen and with a Native American population. In Arizona, the students here also didn't seem like they wanted to be here. Well, you have a, a mix of both. It's one ear out the next, but then you have students that you, can, you make that eye contact and you can see, hey, there's something that, that, you know, maybe I've sparked a little bit more understanding about what a journalist does. After a long day, we finally wrap things up. Yes, you can do this. Um, it's, a, it's a challenge not having enough, but at the same time, hey, if you have to be that groundbreaking person, then do you have it within you to do that? Do you have the ganas? Do you have the desire to do it? Do you have the curiosity to be the journalist of the future? I was kind of disappointed with the, uh, the, uh, the turnout. Only three students came to the presentation. So, I mean, it wasn't as, as large as it was when we went to the first school earlier this morning, but um, we had a lot of good stuff to say. And, you know, the kids who I tried to talk to weren't very talkative because they were pretty camera shy. So I didn't really get to ask them any questions about, you know, Native American representation in the media. But we can't win them all. My crew and I head back home to Phoenix.